Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and welcome to EVE Talk, your weekly look at the markets in EVE Online. So we are here in Jita and we'll see what the state of the market is. Um, personally, I think we are um, in, a, in a place in EVE Online where the economy is going to be decently stable because we have so many new people coming into the game that this will actually underpin a lot of activity. Uh, such as uh, mining but also producing and losing ships and plexus and everything so yeah, I actually uh, suspect that nothing is going to move too drastically or change too drastically anytime soon because we still have a decently long wait uh, to go before we'll get any information on the next expansion so let's start out with plex and I'll put down 50 seconds for that 50 seconds um, yeah, Plex 631.5 for the seller, 620 for the buyers. I'm really amazed at how strongly Plex is keeping up here. Still at around the 630 mark. Pretty much hasn't moved in the last few weeks. You know, you can definitely see the sideways movement here. And if I go for the one year chart, it's holding up at a very, very high place. Uh, this is probably due to all of the new activity in EVE Online in general. And uh, I do like to see Plex as a barometer for activity in EVE Online, so um, I think it's a very good sign for the game, but for people that uh, want to Plex their accounts, it just means you have to put a little bit more effort into uh, actually being able to do that. Uh, for now, I think until something uh, starts to change, you know, maybe a few months down the line, if, if subscriber numbers actually start to drop off, if some of the new players start to... Uh, to stop uh, playing the game for a while or or definitively um, we will start to see plexus drop a little bit but it's really surprising how strong it has remained uh, after the winter expansion and so although i think it's a good sign for the game in general of course for my buying opportunity uh, to purchase uh, a plexus and then make a profit on the next winter expansion it's still a wait and see approach uh, but yeah with fanfest it's going to be very hard for plexus to really correct uh, substantially I think it will have to be in a short amount of time and I'm just not seeing it happen right now so we'll have to wait and see Plex is still extremely high at the moment next up we'll move on to minerals and that will be 232 something like that uh, Tritanium is still going up uh, this is the three month chart so maybe if I go for the one month chart you can see that it's still slowly going up and in fact the 20 day moving average is jumping above 510 in a, a pretty unusual situation uh, where it's actually going up despite the five day moving average being just below it but i can see at the tail end here that the five day moving average is also slowly trending up so i do suspect we're still seeing a lot more demand than supply i'll go over this a little bit more quickly now but if you look here at these big orders that still need to be filled at 494 495 496 um, that's definitely a lot of titanium that still has to be sold before prices can really start to correct. So this is a huge floor that needs to be broken before any change can happen. Uh, I'm seeing fewer very recent orders. Um, so people do seem to be hesitant to go uh, above 5 ISK uh, on their buy orders. If this happens at some point, because you do see a pretty recent one here at 498, if this does happen, it could really open the door for uh, Tritanium to be above 5 ISK in a more uh, sustainable way. Uh, for now, it's it's a little bit of a wait and see, so I do suspect we will either see a, a first sideways movement uh, for Tritanium if, if uh, demand indeed does not pick up uh, too substantially if it breaks 5 isk we could go a decent amount higher all of a sudden next up we'll have a look at the pyrite chart pretty much the same you know the uptrend has slowed down uh, but the 5 day and the 20 day moving average are converging at around 13.2 uh, isk and uh, if i look at supply demand here there's actually a pretty big order of 326 million coming in at 1310 so the competition is definitely here as well uh, we are seeing some bigger uh, sell orders here as well though 111 million all of a sudden at 1321 uh, so it does look like the market is slowly starting to find its price i'm not really seeing a price range problem here because it's well over 13 isk already for the buy orders um, although it is one of the first big ones here so yeah it all in all you know if if uh, the months can 
keep up, uh, can keep increasing or can is, is still above uh, supply this will continue to increase but it just it does seem like it has slowed down a little bit next up we'll go for mixalon that one is definitely going up quite uh, quite nicely and and quite substantially a uh, data point above 52 ice cake it's been quite a while since you've, we've seen that and if you look here uh, we have here again 770 million being bought very recent order at 5129 and uh, there are some decent sell orders coming in as well at 51.88 but if i go to like a one year chart or a six month chart here you can clearly see that it's been going up substantially in the last six months and that it's pretty much getting back up where it was a year ago so we've had a serious deflationary cycle here this was what is this march may july up until the summer and after the summer with activity in eve online picking back up this is something that tends to happen every year uh, this this is has gone back up substantially here as well uh, if you have mixed all on over i would consider starting to uh, to sell to sell it yeah um because this is pretty much also the movement we usually see in plexus uh it's a little bit surprising how high it's it's been here as well in mix alone so the demand is really there a lot of new players are there as well so you need to produce the ships you need to uh to produce uh, all the munitions weapons everything that is needed for all of these new players this is definitely boosting the economy alongside the plexus it's just a matter of how long is this is this going to keep up i do suspect that at some point is going to stop it's going to slow down at least and then uh, start to correct a little bit uh, but it, it's just not for right now because as you can see the month is, is definitely still there way above supply although some bigger orders are coming in so it's slowing down but still an uptrend i am still seeing it Next up, we'll have a look at Isogen, which is still a high-sec one, definitely going up as well here. Look at this one on chart. Data points above 140 ISK. Um, buy order here of, of 85 million units uh, bought like uh, three hours ago or not even that. Uh, that's definitely there is a lot of action here on the demand side you're seeing some smaller ones but it's already inching up to 134 and we have 137 for the sellers who are also starting to pick up on these higher prices though you are seeing some bigger orders coming in pretty recently here as well and uh, so it's a very active market but i think the uptrend although slowing down is confirmed here as well at least for the high sec uh, minerals let's move on then to some uh, null sec ones to some more expensive ones uh, like noxium also i'm definitely seeing the uptrend here and we can hear again look at that very recent order 83 million noxium being bought that's that's really quite a lot for 726 um, yeah this is this is definitely a significant increase in demand and here again we are seeing a similar situation where after the summer it's finally starting to pick back up and uh, a lot of this could actually be just due to general activity in the game being extremely high uh, since the last summer after the winter expansion and big fights which turn out to be a, a, a really a blessing for the game um let's have a look here at mega site uh, on the one more chart still up for the month from 1580 uh, at i would say 1630 something like that but it's corrected back a little bit here keep in mind though as you can see right here a big sell order coming in uh, that is, is at 1600 which is really uh, putting a ceiling on what the price can do uh, but also keep in mind that megasite is one of the most expensive minerals out there and so the sell orders the sellers the supply here often does dictate the price um, for megasite and so this is not so much a supply demand situation uh, but more of what are people willing to uh, pay for the mega site uh, as they buy up sell orders uh, simply to to get it uh, what they need in order to produce the stuff that they want uh, let's have a look next uh, what zydrine is the one that i still haven't done here a similar situation um, it's actually correcting a little bit for the month still heading for 750 i'll have a quick look at a one year chart though you can see for zydrine it's been uh, a lot more uh, quick uh, to go up from its bottom of around 550 towards 750 i do suspect it's like a big player or a few big players in the zydrine market that have uh, have timed the turnaround correctly um, and, and been able to manipulate the price into going higher and higher and higher maybe by like purchasing up all the lower sell orders and then just 
putting it back at like 700 750 uh, there the, all of their zydrine stocks and since then it's been a little bit more sideways around 700 to 750 band uh, but yeah this is often something that does happen in in something that is uh, not as a uh, huge a market in volume as let's say tritanium zydron is something that can actually be manipulated actively by a few big players once in a while and i think this is also what we're seeing here if it wasn't for that one spike towards 800 you'd probably see a much more gradual uh, increase in the zydron price from the 550 to 750 mark uh, just like we've seen with all the other minerals so it's definitely a general trend zydron is a little bit different and i suspect it's just someone that's made a lot of money uh, by manipulating the market finally we have more fight uh, it's a little bit of a different story here it's it's really been going sideways more if i'm not mistaken it's because morphite is actually uh, something you need for tech 2 which is of course not something that new players uh, get to that easily and so it is very much possible that demand for tech 2 stuff uh, has not increased substantially despite all the new players and the increased activity and thus morphite is also lagging behind a little bit uh, i think that's actually pretty normal so yeah, that's minerals. I'm still seeing the uptrend. It slowed down a little bit. Uh, and if you want to have an idea of what's going to happen, keep a close eye on the demand. Do you see a lot of those new orders? Then you can expect this trend to continue. Once you start to see drop off, and I do think that Plex is going to be a good indicator for this. Once you start seeing Plex's drop off, you can suspect that activity is also dropping off a little bit in EVE in general. And this could also be a turnaround for minerals, but for now, uh, Plex is extremely high and minerals going up. So we'll move on to some Tech 1 chips then. And that's at around 11.50. Man, minerals is always a pretty long talk, but it's actually a pretty important one. Uh, just to try and get a feel of the general market. It's really the underpinning value of the entire market. Anyways, let's go for the Drake here. Uh, on the one year chart, you can also see a similar trend here of a serious decline after the summer expansion. I think it was a very early one. Uh, but now it's been picking up, uh, I think, with just generally more activity in EVE Online. And if I look at the one month chart here, definitely going up here and correcting back a little bit. Uh, but uh, yeah, here we do see some big supply in the Drake, so it's not going to break 47 million anytime soon. Uh, but it's been holding uh, very strongly uh, after having some, some very few... Uh, very difficult uh, months and years uh, before because the drake has been nerfed significantly let's have a look here at the Milstrom. a uh, little more flats but still uh, maybe up a little bit on the entire month if i look at supply demand you are seeing some some good supply coming in here so i do think that we are seeing a little bit of a result from the um, from the mineral demand uh, that is also starting to come to the market in the form of uh, tech one chip supply so this is all slowing down a little bit uh, the omen yeah has known a serious increase here in the last few weeks and months as well if i go for the one month chart pretty good here from 9.3 to 10.3 million that's not bad at all uh, but we are seeing some big suppliers coming in here uh, let's have a look here at the rock Signif up signif significantly Jesus, for the month and not this this big supply uh, coming in here but for the omen really big order coming in here for the millstrom pretty big order here and then for the drake here again 118 and 36 of of them it's not insignificant and here the talos i'm seeing more supply than the month for the talos so we're probably more on the side well still up a little bit so yeah i think supply of tech one is really coming online uh, people are starting to bring a lot of ships to the market and so this could actually start to slow down uh, in my opinion interesting stuff i did not expect this but it's really telling that uh, of the five ships i usually check three of them have some really big orders coming in all of a sudden uh, that are competing and are probably going to start pushing the price down a little bit uh, next up we'll touch on a few tick two ships and that's 1420 so a few take two ships just to, i'll just have a quick look at the chart here but absolution pretty stable and here we go i started speaking right back up so yeah if you'd been able to sell some on the down uh, to buy some on the downturn uh, you're probably looking pretty good look at that margin 188 for the buyers 218 uh for the uh for the sellers that's a pretty damn significant margin for the start days which apparently has started to pick back up here because 218 yeah data points is right here 
interesting stuff uh, claymore still heading down so maybe a bit of an uh, buying opportunity there damnation just comes off of, of a spike from this uh, this month from 215 to 250 that's not nothing and now it's trending right back down so it's uh, definitely 240 yeah, it's it's the buy orders that are dictating the price here at the moment a little bit if you can pick a few up maybe maybe um eos uh yeah big spike here on the eos uh, let's have a quick look how big it is exactly 282 to uh 296 uh, something like ooh, 12 13 million so, something like that not bad but it's already over so your selling opportunity is already gone uh, the guardian trending down towards 155 152 maybe even so buyers are not following suit here maybe a buying opportunity if i look at a one-year chart uh, guardian after a very stable period the summer expansion changed that a lot and we are back in spiky territory for the guardian which i, I think is something good for trading um, if you see a chart like this now it's correcting right back uh, buyers are dropping below 150 uh, so here you can clearly see an opportunistic buyer someone buying five for 150 he can definitely expect that he'll be able to uh, to sell them for a little bit higher later on uh, and make some profit that way so it is definitely happening yeah maybe guardian if you want to buy a few risk that it's a possibility i think uh, Nighthawk going down as well. Slipnir significantly going down. Could be a buying opportunity there as well. And then the Vulture has been a little bit too stable, down for the entire month. Uh, yeah, could be close to a turnaround if I look at that data point. So, yeah, just keep an eye on this Tech 2 market. But honestly, if you want to trade in it, you have to be there almost every day to check out what's happening because uh, it moves extremely quickly. Next up, Tech 3 ships. Uh, 16.55 that is going to be uh, oversupply i think yeah look at that legion still going down here pretty significantly 89 orders coming in very recent at 141 loki look at the difference in numbers between supply and amount quite significant so that one's also trending down 138 for a loki i mean that's almost no money at all Proteus 136, that's extremely low. 135, 500 to buy. 630 and then 61 Proteuses. Um, I don't know where all of this keeps coming from, but the oversupply in Tech 3 ships is, is definitely a fact. And look at the Tengu. Uh, 134 here as well. Historical, uh, Historically, extremely, extremely low prices. So if you want to fly a Tech 3 ships, it's really the time for you to start buying some because uh, never seen it so low and the oversupply uh, situation, it's it's still there and uh, it's quite significant. And then uh, for the extra uh, one, I am going to take a look at the Nestor uh, just because I do want to see what that new Sisters of Eve battleship is doing. So here we go. 1.6 billion for uh, the Nestor. This is a lot. Uh, buy orders of 1.5 billion. That's uh, that's quite amazing. Uh, you're seeing this typical chart, but uh, it's it's actually not as big as you would say. You know, there's definitely a downtrend here, but coming from 1.7 billion to 1.58 billion, it's just an enormous price uh, tag for for the new ship here. I mean, it looks pretty beautiful, um, but uh, no, no way that this is worth so much, uh, so much in my opinion. This is definitely uh, a vanity situation where people want to be the first uh, to fly these ships, and um, yeah, they're just willing to pay, in my opinion, ridiculous prices for something like that. I mean, we, you have to buy three plexes uh, just to get uh, the hull of of this ship. Pretty much, you're you're looking at almost three months of. Uh, of, of, of game time in EVE Online. I, I just, I cannot see this being worth it for, for that many people, but apparently it is here. Let's have a quick look maybe at the, the yeah, the demand side. It is definitely here, look at that. Uh, people willing to pay 1.5 billion for Nestors. And if I look at the volumes, well, they started off pretty high here, uh, but they have steadily been going down. But still, we're still talking probably 5 uh, to 15 Nestors being sold every day 
uh, that's yeah that's a lot of ice key that uh, some people are willing to uh, to put on the table just to get one of these new sisters of eve battleships uh, i understand that they look great and that they're new stuff to try out but uh, i don't understand people willing to pay such a price uh, for for something that mm, i'd say pretty much a dominix or dominix navy issue can uh, can compete with the nestor so yeah a really strange in my opinion but this is a vanity market thing and uh, it's just not something that i generally participate in uh, but uh, i thought it was pretty interesting to quickly have a look at that but the evolution of the downtrend of the nestor price is definitely a slow thing uh, at the moment probably because it is a battleship supply will take more time to come to the market and uh, until the hype dies down a little bit you'll see just uh, extremely high prices for that so anyways that's it for this if talk guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all next time